But he shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And he shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. The anointing is what allows us to do the works of God. It is God manifesting through us in his power. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit, which is his power. The works of the Holy Spirit is in the heart and represents God's word, which is the truth. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 1 says, Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savour, so that a little folly, him that is in reputation for wisdom and honour. My dear brethren, sin corrupts and makes the anointing to stink. The more reason we need to pray always for fresh anointing. We become a stink unto God and no longer does the fruit of the Holy Spirit come forth, but the works of the flesh. This is a prayer I've put together by the grace of God. You can use the same wordings or act as the Spirit leads you. Let us pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, I thank you because you are good, powerful and loving. Out of your glorious riches, you strengthen me through your spirit in my inner being. Please forgive me of every conscious and unconscious sins through the blood of Jesus. And also please uproot everything you have not planted in my heart. O oh Lord, let all strangers flee from my spirit and let the Holy Spirit take control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise, O Lord, and fill me with your spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, and the fear of the Lord, as well as the spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ and revelation. Yes, find me your servant, O God, and anoint me as you anointed David. Exalt my horn like a unicorn and anoint me with fresh oil. Lord, please anoint my head with oil and let my cup run over. Also anoint my eyes with eye salve that I may see. Yes, I pray for revelation, Lord. Let every veil be removed from the eye of my heart. Show me great and mighty things which I did not know. Let me see hidden treasures, treasures, O Lord. Yes, Lord, please take your horn of oil and anoint me in the midst of my brethren. And let your spirit come upon me mightily from this day forward. Lift up my head above my enemies round about me, and I will offer in your tabernacle sacrifices of joy. Yea, I will sing praises unto you, Lord. With your righteous right hand, Adonai, please anoint me, and take away from off my shoulder every burden of the enemy. Break every yoke from off my neck, and let the yoke be completely destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, with your righteous right hand, Adonai, please restore unto me all what the enemy has stolen right from the time I was born up to, up to now. Yahweh, as you anointed, please be my strength. Make my horn to birth and ordain a lamb for me. I receive the anointing into my life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anoint me, O God, with your spirit of truth, who will abide in me and teach me all that is true and no lie, and let me also abide in him. Let your spirit come upon me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Send me, O Lord, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Let me proclaim your acceptable year and your day of vengeance to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness. Yes, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of you, Lord, that you might be glorified forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you are divine and I am the branch. I choose to draw every good fruit and gift of the Holy Spirit from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Adonai, King of Glory, for you always answer us when we call. To you be all the praise, glory, and adoration now and forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name of prayer, amen and amen.